Hello everyone, you are welcome to Shareability e-learning. In today's lesson we shall look at Apathy policy. Feel free to contact us at elearning.net or you can contact me on 0708-9900-34. Today's lesson, the topic is about Apathy policy. We shall look at how Apathy policy was carried out and we shall see how Africans reaction towards the apartheid policy. So in this lesson, we are going to look at apartheid policy in South Africa. We shall look at how was apartheid carried out, homeland for the blacks or the Bantu stance, conditions of Bantu stance, African reaction towards apartheid. Okay, so it will let's move to the first slide whereby we shall look at what is apathy policy, what it meant. Well, apathy refers to the segregation of people according to their race, tribe or color. It was a policy of separate development which was introduced by the Dutch professors. Okay, Angela, apathy refers to segregation of people according to their race, tribe or color. So if somebody is segregating you according to your tribe, race or color and there are very many people are segregating you so that's called that's an act called apartheid or it can be called tribalism it is a policy of separate development which was introduced by the Dutch which was not a very good act it tortured Africans mentally and it created chaos in the entire coast of East Africa well we look at the next slide now I want to look at now the homeland for the blacks. I know that the homeland of the blacks is sometimes was called the Bantu stance. Okay, so the Dutch created separate homes for Africa to prevent them from mixing with their race, and the following were the Bantu stance. Now, the Dutch to, to create this segregation resulted into creating of homelands for the blacks which they named the Bantustans by separating like they say Kampala now is going to be for only the blacks and the rest parts of Uganda will be for the whites I think that segregation there's no mixing there's no moving out without cards identity cards for one to move out from maybe Kampala which was the Bantustan to either Wakiso to another to either Guru you needed to move with an identity card which was a discrimination of African rights so this was created by the Dutch and the following were the Bantu stands the Quena we had the Veda Sharpville Transkei and the Swazi there were so very many but these were the most common one the Veda the Sharpville the Swazi and Transkei and Quena were the homes of the Bantu were the black were the Bantu stands the homes of the blacks sorry I think move next slide now we're going to see how was apartheid carried out in South Africa as our subheading well blacks were put in separate homes called Bantu stands that's how they carried out apartheid remember I told you apartheid is discrimination of people's rights through Angela through the arrest the tribe nationality and so on okay by putting them in separate entities so how was this apartheid carried out one we have looked at blacks were put in separate homes called Bantu stands there were separate homes for whites and blacks okay blacks were not allowed to use roots for whites Blacks were not allowed to move out from their homes w without passes stock IDs. Blacks were not allowed to participate in politics. So everything was done by the Dutch. They would elect the president without considering Africans. They would elect the prime minister without considering the, the Africans, which was a very bad disservice. Would you wish that happened to Uganda? Intermarriages between blacks and whites were illegal. And immoral this was called it was immoral it was a very dangerous act in the case one a black was caught when he has married a white that would be an automatic death sentence 
both clubs were only created for only one race. Like you see, Manchester United, only whites would compete and they were the only ones who were qualified to have a sports club, not Africans. So it was a very bad disservice to the blacks. But we thank God all the conditions were came to normal by the strong man Nelson Mandela who came and fought against appetite policy. So we are gonna look at the conditions of the Bantu stands. What were the conditions of the homes of the blacks? There were hospitals. You know, a place where they, you are overcrowded, there are a lot of diseases, and they make Ashim Kampala. You see in Kampala there, they say Kampala is going to be for the bl blacks, and the other parts are going to be the Gulu, the other parts of Uganda are going to be for the whites. Do you assume that Kampala is very big? It will have few hospitals. So the hospitals will be poor since the system under which it's running will be decentralized non-centralized system so we tend to find that uh, much of the capital will be invested into the Dutch hospitals and less capital to the African hospitals hence poor hospitals were sanitation since Africans were overcrowded unemployment for schools overcrowded places shortage of food think the next slide how Africans reacted towards apartheid policy one political parties were formed to oppose apartheid blacks formed strikes and boycotts against apartheid policy they wrote articles in newspapers to oppose apartheid church leaders preached against apartheid children walked out of school because they were taught in africans instead of english which was a discrimination of their rights it's like you go to guru to to a class and they want do you want I've gone to attend the lesson? A teacher starts teaching in Guru, the language which you know, other than introducing you to another language which is English to improve your cultural, cultural activity. So it was really a bad disservice. So we're gonna look at questions and learn assessment. So thank you for paying attention. I know God is going to reward you very much and by the end of this lesson you wouldn't be the same that you begin i know something at least so you are going to answer this question submit them in google classroom which are able to mark you or feel free to contact me on 0708 or you can contact us at e-learning at shabir.net we shall be able to respond to you so what do you understand by the time appetite you give me two marks but i know some of you are good researchers you'll go on google and search more and even can elaborate more Thank you very much. How was apartheid carried out in South Africa? How did Africans react towards apartheid? What were the Bantu stands to Marx? What were the conditions of the Bantu stands for Marx? I told you the Bantu stands are the same as the homes of the blacks. Thank you very much. In case you are new, we love you so much. Continue. Subscribe Subscribe for more upcoming lessons and, and endeavor to turn on the bell, the notification bell. Thank you very much. You can check out for the playlist below for the recent lessons you have missed. Uh, it has been German with your service. We love you so much. If you can feel free to email us at e-learning at or you can contact me on 0759 551 Feel free. We love you so much. May God God bless you.